Hi everyone, Crystal back with a video. I know it's been a while since I've posted. It's summer and my kids are home. I barely get time to craft and when I do, it's just because I'm in a swap and I need to um, hurry up and get it out because I don't have enough time to create. Um, so anyways, long story short, I joined a swap on Instagram. Um, it was a unicorn swap or it is a unicorn swap and I'm traveling at the end of the month so I wanted to record this um, video before I send it out um, but by the time you guys are watching this this probably has been received already by my swap partner okay so in the swap we were supposed to make a wand purchase a cup like a unicorn cup or mug um, we were supposed to make um, a dream catcher and also an altered embroidery hoop. Um, and so you guys know I've made embroidery hoops in the past. This is just a different kind of embroidery hoop. It's not like a loaded embroidery hoop. It's just an embroidery hoop that's um, unicorn themed. And same with the dream catcher. Um, I've, I've never made either one. So this was quite a challenge. I was nervous, but then I got it done. <laughs> so anyways, enough with the chit chat. Let me share with you um, the unicorn wand that I created. So here it is. It's so cute. Um, I just love the colors. They're so pretty. I used um, a bunch of pastel mint pink, pastel green mints and pinks. So um, I just love this. So I used a heart, um, kind of like a heart circle a spellbinders die for the base. And then I ruffled some crepe paper here to add or to layer on. And then this here is the smaller size of the dies that I used. And then this is just a Tim Holtz rosette punt, I mean rosette, uh, I think it's called a strip die or something but I put that I layered that on top um, in these super fun I should have cut the paper like where the pinks and perp, like the more girly colors show but whatever it is what it is so all the like pinks and stuff is under under this um, sticker that I have so then I layered a rainbow piece with the star and this I don't know where this came from but I found it on my floor <laughs> so I was like oh I'm gonna use that so it says filled with love and then I adhered um, a unicorn so the paper that I used um, is the doodle bug fairy something or rather where is it anyways it's called fairy dreams or something yeah fairy oh here it is fairy tails um this is my first ever doodle bug paper pack so i just like the fun like it looks kawaii to me like the there's faces on the clouds on the cakes um the unicorns obviously but it's just so cute there's stars and hearts just a fun fun collection so that's the collection I used so that's the wand the cup um, I have not purchased yet but I will do that today um, and then I also asked her if she wanted me to make other things other than like what was required sorry about that other than what was required and her and I agreed to a like to do flat mail so this is um, my favorite kind of flat mail to do it's like a file folder and so this paper is double-sided so I didn't really have to back two papers together but this is a die cut um, from the collection and I just cut my own cloud back here this is also another die cut from the collection as well this is a unicorn and this is a border strip here and I just added um, some trim to the bottom to kind of just give it a different look and then I made a shaker and I was too lazy to heat up my fuse tool so um, I just sewed it on my sewing machine I'm like that thing I don't know I have a love hate for that fuse tool so yeah 
I made a shaker. And then you open it, and this is the inside. I just gave her some of these um, stickers here, and then a face mask there. I wanted to leave it kind of as flat as I could. So that was one other thing that I made for her. Oh, and then the back has an envelope, which I will include my letter, um, or a letter, just to kind of tell her a little bit about myself. And then, what else? Oh, I altered one of the Target dollar spot boxes. Um, again, with some ephemera. This is a cloud um, die that I got from Allie. And this is kind of like the rainbow. It's kind of a fairly big die, so I cut the papers in different colors here. And then I just put it on pop dot so it's kind of dimensional. I put another, I already said that, unicorn. And then this is another cloud die, I'm um, die cut. And then here it just says believe in the magic. I don't know what it was with this, but I wanted to make everything shake. So this is another shaker, believe in the magic, um, like piece from the collection. I'm trying to, there. Anyways, you can kind of see it. It says believe in the magic. So that's what the top looks like. And then on the inside, I included a memory dex card because her and I also agreed to do a memory dex card on top of the swap. So this is mine. It's so cute. I just cut out this um, cloud here. And then it just says sweet with some pom-pom trim, a rainbow, um, a die cut piece from the collection. And this I found on Pinterest, a unicorn, and I just fussy cut it out and added her there. So that's the memory decks card. And then the, I added some of these bows. I'm gonna also include other um, embellishments, but I just wanted to record this video already so I can start um, wrapping these up. And then, what else? I used this paper collection from Michaels, the unicorn one, and I just sewed two of the um, sheets of paper back to back so I can make this little baggie. I didn't decorate it, I just wanted to keep it sim simple. It says keep dreaming. And on the inside, I included some of these um, stickers here and I just repackaged the top. And then the bottom, I mean, and the in inside has this super cute pen that I got at, I think at TJ Maxx. It's so cute. So I just thought that was super fitting. So that's that and so let me move these aside because I'm gonna show you the um, embroidery hoop that I made the altered embroidery hoop looks like this and I just love it I still have to add the eyelashes but after that I'm done um, done with it I just like the natural look of this too I thought that was so cute so I made a shaker hoop again I don't know what it was with me and shakers but I felt like I wanted to make this. And this is just a cone that I got from Michaels um, years ago, it's like the mini ones. And I stuffed it with um, tissue paper so that it, you know, it can kind of be puffy. And then I just um, adhered it to the lip back here. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like blue strings everywhere. And then these ears, I used these super cute um, leaves. These are supposed to be leaves. Um, that I've been hoarding forever that I got from Elise back in the day. Hi Elise. And so I just adhered it for the ears on and I backed it on some foam, um, glittered foam. And then this is a flower from Elise as well. And these ones probably also are all of these flowers I bought from Elise um, when she used to sell or have um, an Etsy store. So yeah, I love, love, love how this turned out. I just can't stop shaking it. So it's so cute, that's that. And then for the dream catcher, I've never made anything like this and I never made anything like this. So ta-da, this is my dream catcher. I just love how this one turned out. 
Um, I used this ring here from Michaels. It's a seven inch ring. So I covered mine with yarn because the leather that they were selling at Michaels, I don't know, it was like $19 and I'm not having that. So I covered mine with yarn um, and then I followed a tutorial online um, to get this kind of like webbing look here. Um, it's kind of tricky at first, but once you get the hang of it, then it becomes super easy. And of course, um, I used a ton of Wild Orchid Craft flowers. I used to be a designer for um, Wild Orchid Crafts, and so I still have a ton of flowers left. Um, and so that's what I used. So I just used Open Roses. I don't even remember the names anymore. Carnations. But yeah, so pretty. I did purples and blues. And again, with the same kind of horn, I did the same thing. Um, but then I covered it with glitter paper. And I didn't put as much um, oops, tissue is because this one's supposed to lay kind of flat. So that's what I did there. And I used different ears for this one. The same thing as far as like uh, backing it on top of the glitter paper. I did that there. And then here are the um, trims that I used. Just different trims that I found in my stash. Um, some blue laces, crochet laces, um, some light pink laces, and some lavender. So yeah, it's so cute. I love, love, love how this turned out. Even though it was my first time, um, I'm really happy with the results of how this turned out. So yep, that is my a dream catcher and then I also included oops sorry I keep bumping this it's you guys are connected to my charger because my phone's dying okay and then I also included this and inside here are some rainbow cookies like shortbread cookies but I just love the packaging it's so cute I love this paper and then I wrapped this, these are unicorn bath bombs that I found at Marshall's. So that's what, and they smell so good. Um, yeah, so that's what's inside this one. So this is how I packaged it. This is how my package will come to her. Um, and then I also included this stamp set because it's unicorn. But um, this is how it will come in this super cute box. Ooh, I got this from Tuesday morning. It says make your own magic and it's one of those like storage box looking things. Um, and this is the inside. I already put um, some really pretty glittered tissue paper. And so yeah, that's how I'm going to be mailing my package to her. I hope she likes everything I created. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. Talk to you later, bye.